guys, so back with another awesome riff and this one is Slow Dancing in a Burning Room by John Mayer. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the chords that make up this chord progression and I'm going to show them a simple bar chord so you can get an idea of the actual progression itself. First chord is C sharp minor. Chord number two, A major. Chord number three, E major. Okay, so they're the chords. Now I'm going to show you how John Mayer plays them. Right guys, so let's look at how these chords are played in this song. The voicings that are used by John Mayer. We'll start with our C sharp minor chord. and It's played up here on the 9th fret. Now what I'm doing there is I'm barring the D string to the high E string on the 9th fret. And my thumb is also playing the low E on the 9th fret. My third finger is playing the 11th fret on the A string, and my little finger is playing the 11th fret on the D string. Now what's important to note here is that within this actual riff, we're not playing the full chord, we're playing a kind of phrase built upon this chord, but it's important to know the original chord as a point of reference. Okay, so our A major chord is going to be this. Okay, actually we'll play it like that. So I'm actually hybrid picking this, which means that I'm playing the A string with my uh, pick and I'm picking the G and B strings with my middle finger and ring finger on my picking hand. My middle finger is picking the G string and I'm playing the 6th uh, fret there with my 3rd finger. And my 3rd finger on my picking hand is playing the B string and my middle finger is playing the 5th fret on that string. I'm actually barring the 4th fret with my 1st finger as well. So it'll be like this. And then to play that E major chord, I'm simply moving my 3rd finger up to the 6th fret of the D string and I'm playing the low E to the B string just a bit of downstroke. Important thing to notice here, uh, with my ring finger, I'm muting the A string, okay? So it would sound like this. So you put those three chords together, you would get this. So, there are the three chords as voiced in this song. Now let's look at how we actually put the riff together uh, and get stuck in. Okay, so section one is going to be this bit. Okay, now what I'm doing there, I'm sliding from the ninth fret on the A string up to 11. And then my middle finger is picking the G string and my first finger is playing the ninth fret there. So we got this pattern. Then my thumb's going to come over and play the 9th fret of the low E. Okay, so we'd have this. And then I'm just going to hit the strings and mute them. So we've got this. And that is section 1. Okay, so section 2 is the little melody that everyone's, you know, heard a million times. Again, I'm hybrid picking this, okay? So I'm starting on the D and G strings. My third finger is playing the ninth fret of the D string, and my first finger is playing the eighth fret of the G string. I'm going to slide up to the eleventh fret on the D string and ninth fret on the uh, G string. So, and then I'm going to slide back down to our original shape. Now you can play this with a pick and then kind of hammer on slide the rest. I quite like picking it with a pick and my finger. Bit of a dynamic difference. This one's kind of at your own discretion how you want to particularly phrase these individual movements. There's a few different ways you can pick them and slide them to make them sound, but I do it like this. Yeah, sorry. Okay, then the next bit. My middle finger is coming to the 9th fret of the A string and my ring finger is playing the 9th fret of the D string. I'm going to slide that shape from the 9th fret up to the 11th and back down. So we get this. Okay. So if I put sections 1 and 2 together, we get this. Okay. Whew. 
Ooh, okay. Section three looks at our A chord and it plays this. Okay. Now, again, hybrid picking. My pick, my pick is playing the A string. My first finger's bar on the fourth fret and my middle finger's on the fifth fret of the B string. You could think of it like a D, D major chord shape starting from the fourth fret. Okay. And as I'm picking, um, the pick is playing the A string, my middle finger is playing the G string, and my ring finger is playing the B string. As I pick this, I hammer my third finger to the sixth fret of the G string. And then pick it again, but take my third finger off. When I take my finger off, I'm only picking the G and B strings there, so. And then I bring my third finger up to play that. E major chord. Okay, so sections one, two, and three would sound like this. Now, as I don't have a drummer, I did put a slap in there. That is entirely up to you uh, to help you keep the rhythm of the riff. Okay, section four starts off exactly the same way as section one. Section four is basically just sections one and two put together. Right, section five is gonna be a little bit different, okay? It's gonna be this. Now, I'm basically playing an E major chord as a C-shaped chord, but my little finger's taken off and I'm playing the open A string. And then I'm hammering on my third finger from the fourth fret of the D string to the sixth. Okay, like that. And then I'm picking the fourth fret of the D string, seventh on the A, fourth on the D again, and then just playing the full chord. The little finger's optional, you can't play it like we did before. Okay, so I'll play section five again. Now you can do all that with a pick, or again, you can kind of hammer on, you, uh, you can hide and pick this. It is entirely up to you how you want to choose to play this riff. Okay, so that was Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. I hope you enjoyed that video. There will be more awesome riffs coming your way uh, every day if I can, if possible. If you like what you see in these videos, subscribe below, share, like, uh, comment. You know, and any ideas for other riffs you have, please write them below and I will try my best to do those for you, okay? Thank you very much. See you again soon.